Yo, what's up with this? In this episode, we got... This went quick. I will be off grinding this one down and, well, making a good bell housing for the discs. And then we should have everything done. Okay, then I'm off to grinding down the original disc. Put it in the pipe and then just gently grind it down a little bit. Leave the big chunk over to put it in the lathe so we can lay that down on the correct size. When we grind it all down, step by step, and make sure that the piece we need won't fall on the floor because it all only just cost iron. Then we're back off to the press as usual. Lately we're using this a lot. So pressing out, really gently pressing out the studs. Again, it's cast iron so we need to be gentle with the studs so they can go back in later on. And then of course back to the lathe and getting the micrometer out, aligning it gently. Lating and a lot of more lating because this is always taking a lot of time and then well now we can piece them together well that's another lating project done so on to the final steps with my nice little mold I'm going to Mark out the holes to get the hub connected to the bell house, and then we got both of the rear done as well. So here's my little mold. As you can see with the bolts in, this can't move anymore. So these holes, I can center out the holes, drill them out, and then we can connect everything together again. Well, it's all a game from repeat, so we're going to drill out the holes now. Then we're going to countersink the holes, so the nice bolts will all be flat with the hub and then of course back in action then pressing the strut gently back in so everything stays nice and tight and straight so that's why we got this all filled up so that it will stay straight and go ahead nicely so we'll press them in and then there's another one ready And then it's just all rinsing them together and we got two nice little rear brakes. Now on to the test fit and getting the big brakes ready. So now we are going to well, scribe down the final place on where the clipper needs to be. Then same for the handbrake but that's a little bit more complicated to see if 
uh, where the right spot is going to be so probably I'm going to get a cardboard piece out just to get all over there and the normal caliper is already almost on a good position on the bracket so that's well fairly easy some to say that the location is already on the bracket so we can scribe that down and put it all in the computer okay I thought that there was a little bit more room to scribe it down but that's not the case so first up I'm going to get to this bracket back in the cardboard and then make it little 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 bigger to well yeah check over there you see where the end is of the bracket and that's where the handbrake clipper is so we need some more room <laughs> a lot more room so I think I'm going to make the complete rounding of the disc in cardboard and then piece out the same shape as the bracket so I can tape it on there and then put it all behind so we can move a little bit with the brakes and then scribe them down where they where I want them to be well I hope everybody understands what I'm saying here so I'm going to uh, going to get the half of the size of the brake disc in the shape of the bracket so I can scribe down these holes otherwise just keep watching and uh, you will see what I'm up to and of course like and subscribe to the channel so okay this is the idea drawing almost half of the disc on the cut design adjusting it a little bit then off to the laser program get it cut it out of the cardboard and then we've got this end result over here so this should give us all the right positions so maybe I can even scan this in in the scanner if we get the measurements of the calipers over here we can put this on the scanner and then we we'll should be easily having a good result so let's get this fitted and see where we're going okay we have a ramp cars on the ramp but we're laying on the floor of course otherwise I'm not sure if I get the best result I aligned well we dropped the car on some stands so the axle will move in the driving position so this way we got the caliper positioned the way we want it now we need to scrape it down I cut it some cardboard off on the first test phase but that's now too much and it needs to have a little bit more room so I'm going to cut out a new cardboard piece and then scribe the first one down and then of course you figure out that it's way more fucked up crazy complicated than expected because the distance of the mounting of the handbrake is really close by to the disc and from the big brakes the disc distance from the blocks or from the disc till the mounting point is way further back so there's a way big gap on how far this will become forward compared to the mounting point of the brakes so it's going to have a little zigzag in the adapter so that way I now need to make a separate mold of this and then somehow slice them together yay So after some filling around, we've got everything scribed on the cardboard. Now it's onto the scanner. We can scan this in the computer and then we got all these layers and can put them on 
to each other and then make a nice drawing piece out of this again and then a new cardboard fit on top over it and if that's aligning with all the holes then we're good then we can decide on which distance we should go Okay, so this is the scanned cardboard. So now we're going to insert back up all the parts again. And then rotate it in the right position. Getting it, that's always a little bit figuring out how to align this. So after a couple of minutes of drawing and figuring everything around, we came up with this. Here should be the handbrake, this should be the big brake, and this piece should puzzle this all together. And we should have a good big brake set up. Now let's cut some out and uh, get the first test done. out of steel no crazy cardboard anymore we as you seen we drilled them we tapped them we got everything together so now on for some cool test fits and let's see how this will turn out when it will be on so everybody can see now what we're doing and how this works so this is a crazy cool setup in my opinion again there were lots of small details to overcome like over here you can see this hole was normally in a straight line this is just to get the big brake bolt to fit it to but I want to get everything connected again so we needed to figure this out put it that one down this is the connection to get everything big together well I will just show you on which points needs to be where. These are all just test bolts. Later on it will be with the right bolts, 10.9 bolts. But for now it's all for the test and hopefully everything will fit straight back in. You never know what you come across on the final ones so if you're going to produce the official one there will be some minor changes always for example I firstly had this in a one angled corner but the brake will come over here so that we needed to cut that down already that's not on camera But this is uh, looking like a good and decent construction. Well, I don't think this will move around anymore. So now this will be over here. Okay, now I will just put on the brakes so everybody can see how, uh, how this big brake setup will work. Without the disc in front of it, you can really see how everything is mounted. So let's go and get the stuff on. First this way, and then you can see well, how this works and how my mind works. Okay, this is what I came up with. So the only thing now I need to figure out if the disc will uh, be in the center of this caliper and in the center of the handbrake but this 
is all coming together now. And over here you can see all these crazy details that you come across. This is the bolt for the caliper. This is all coming through over here. And here it just it, there's enough room. But this is the, these are the things you never come up with when you make this stuff the first time. Second or the third one I made for this to eventually end up with a hole there, cut this off, all those minor details that are different in each setup. So when I'm going to make the last one, I think I'm going to make it this way, nice and round, like this. That it's all flowing. And maybe over here we can shorten this out this way and then going with this corner again. That's a better idea. So these are the final details which I will change out, but the rest of it, for my opinion, this is perfect. So I will now get the disc on, then the, then the, then the wheel on for the final fitments, and then we can make one official one to roll with the wheels. Well, I think most of you will understand this, that I'm really happy on this result. Again, a really good brake setup in my opinion. I'm really happy on this result again. It's, uh, yeah, what can I say? It's really coming together again. Hopefully it will fit with the wheel. Let's see how this will fit, but there's some small things to do. The, oh, it's a little bit dark. Okay, that's better. We can, it will adjust itself over the bolts over here, and we need to widen the handbrake clipper a little bit. So I'm going to cut out a 10 millimeter shape of the shape of the body of the clipper, and then the, these will fit perfectly on this disc. The Porsche brake is looking really good. Now let's see, it's slightly out of the middle, so I'm going to measure out how much that is. And then I can adjust it a little bit backwards, a couple of millimeters, so it will be perfectly in the center. Almost perfect. Three millimeter is. I want to win. So it's a little bit too close to the wheel. So I, the depth of the wheel is the same as what I've got at the front on how far the spokes will clear off the caliper, but it needs to be a little bit more out of the center. Because, let me show you. Okay, so this distance is almost the same as the front. Only there, that's a little bit too much. So it needs to come back this way a little bit. And then we're done. We've got a little bit of room on the brake pads. So it can go backwards a little bit. So I think I'm going to move it three or five millimeter backwards and then it's all done then the big brakes are done so another perfect result for this setup I'm really pleased again with this the, the shapes and the sizes are perfect with the wheels not too big and not too small just how it should be a little bit smaller than the fronts because here they're really big and wide and then over there it's a little bit smaller but in comparison this is a, a perfect setup yes I'm really happy on uh, how this is turning out so that means this front is done the back is done this one is done that one is done only to mount it and cut two final pieces of the setup and then it can roll through the shop again that's 
a cool deadline. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And we've got this project to finish for next week. And another project is in. So busy weeks ahead. See you all in the next episode. Thanks again. Oh, put something in the comments.